Hello, you cool cats and kittens. Yay for improvement. We're doing things. We're learning things. Um, Welcome back to my channel. Here I am doing a tutorial for you guys because it's been a while. I've been a little bit on the down low, but now I'm here to give back up. Wait a minute. I'm like losing my train of thought. This is so hard. Why is it so hard to do this on the whim? So the second most voted palette that you guys want me to do was drum roll. Blush Crush from ColourPop. Well, it was a tie between this one and Strawberry uh, Shake, but I'm gonna do that one on another time. But this is the palette that I will be using today. If you haven't uh, subscribed, you should do that right now. It's that button down there below the video. Do you see it? Because I see it. I see it from here. Yes, that is an ice cream truck that you hear in the background. Yes, it is creepy because they barely come around here. So, <laughs> and I, you guys have probably have noticed that I'm doing this in my room because the lighting is sucky in the bathroom right now. So right now I have the blinds open in my room to a little bit, a little bit of light, but I also have the light on from my um, impressions mirror. Okie dokie. So for starters, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the shade Love Sick, which is the shade right here and put that on my lid. That's going to be the base for the look today. And I've put my brushes right here behind me because there's no room for them in my little area. You guys want to see my area? Here, let me show you. This is what it looks like. That's my mirror. Say hello, mirror. That's my stuff. That's my entire collection of makeup. This is basically my makeup station because I do not have a makeup desk. Oh, this has yellow. Probably not. I should probably clean some of these. Sorry. So unprofessional. This one has glitter. This one. This is the brush I'm going to use. It's an Urban Decay brush from the Naked 2 palette, which I no longer have. I think I gave it to someone. Did I? I don't know. Don't know where it is. So I'm going to go ahead and apply Love Seek on my lid. Sometimes uh, you can use a lighter shade as your starting base for a look or you can use concealer or you can just start off with primer. The main purpose of putting on a base color is so that it helps the colors on top pop more. And so I'm not layering it too much on but just enough around the surrounding eyelid area. Although I don't know if I like it. It's coming out kind of powdery, but I may just have a case of dry eyelids because I don't know. My skin has been like kind of dehydrated lately, even though I've been drinking water like crazy and I've been peeing every like 15 minutes of the day. So I don't know what's going on with that. All right, now that the color is completely on the lids, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next color, which will be the one which is this color right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that into that crease. It looks like a very pale orange color, kind of like a creamsicle color. That's what it looks like to me. So we'll see how that goes. It's very light. It's lighter than I expected. I feel like these shades are very pastel-like and they're very drying. I don't know why. I, again, I, I think it just could be my lids, but for some reason, these colors aren't coming out as good as I thought. Because again, I don't practice these looks. I just wing it, but I'll, I'll make it work. It's fine. No problem. I'm trying to see if I can make them both the same shade because this is darker than this side. <gasps> I don't know why. Maybe this one actually had color from before and I probably need to soften it a little bit. Let me see what I can do. Let me use Lovesick and blend it out so I can soften it a bit. It's very... The look, the look is very looking very pastel right now, and I don't really like it. But I'm going to continue using other colors, so hopefully it gets better. 
Next, I'm going to use cheek to cheek, which is this color right here. And I'm going to add that onto the crease as well. So hopefully that works out. <laughs> Softening the color. Cool. The key is to continue to blend it into your crease. If it gets a little bit on your lid, that's totally fine. It's not a big deal. <sighs> that's a lot of fallout. I like it so far. Okay. Now on the lid, I'm going to use the shade Enamored, which is this one right here. It is a shimmer shade. So you know what that means, fingers. All right, so I'm gonna use this finger right here and I'm going to put the color on my lid. Ooh, this is such a nice color. You guys, can you see it? Oh, for full disclosure, my looks are not sponsored by ColourPop or any product that I use, okay? If you see me using a lot of looks using ColourPop Cosmetics, I'm not being sponsored by them. I just happen to like them a lot, and that's literally all I own. Not literally. You know, half Jeffree Star, half ColourPop, and other stuff in between. Oh, I'm gonna do another layer because it's so pretty. Now for the outer corner, I'm going to use Blush Wine, which is this darker color right here. It also has a little bit of sparkles. A little bit of sparkles, you know. I'm gonna use this flat eyeshadow brush and pack it on the outer corner. See if that works. Oh, it's pretty. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to keep it at an angle and having it on the third part of my outer eye. Mm -hmm. You have to be very careful when packing on color, especially if the colors are not only very pigmented, but if they are, um, what's the term I'm looking for? If they are prone to fallout, if there's a lot of fallout, you're definitely going to have to use either eyeshadow protectors if you already have your face on first, or do it like I do, do the eyes and then the face first. I haven't gotten to the expertise where I do my face <laughs> and then, you know, the eyes because I'm afraid of making mistakes, but maybe one day I'll be able to gain that skill and level up in, you know, makeup life. It'll be cool. And feel free to pack on as much color as you like. You can soften your look. You don't have to keep on packing color. I personally like to do it so that it lasts me throughout the day and so that it stands out. And I think I've done enough because I keep, because <laughs> now I'm bringing it in to the crease and okay i need to stop i need to stop <laughs> but i can't stop there we go <gasps> the battery on my mirror is dying oh no no worries i come in handy uh where's the hole there it is he 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 oh Right T. So pretty. Guess what, guys? I have the new Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Eyeliner. And it is an eyeliner pin. I can't wait to use it. Hopefully it's good. That's how it looks like. It's very sharp. Look at that. Sharp as heck. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this for my eyeliner. I'm gonna need a mini mirror though. Where's my mini mirrors? Found one. Oh, this, I bought it back when like uh, Sephora had the Disney uh, Ariel collection. This is a hand-packed mirror. That's what it looks like. And then the back it says, go with the flow, but you can barely see it because of how scratched up it is. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyeliner now. See how this turns out. Whoa. Oh, this is a good, Pen. Oh smokes. <gasps> Guys, have you seen this? This is the most precise eyeliner I've ever done in my life. Oh my god. What? 
What? Y'all, I'm scared. And I'm shook at the same time. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> wow. Look at that. That's position right there. I, I love you. I definitely cannot express the happiness that I feel for this. This is my new best friend. You are my new best friend. I love you. So look at that. Do you see how matte it is? And how clean and sharp and precise that is? Like, oh my god. I couldn't do that with the NYX eyeliner. There's no way. Like, that would have been a catastrophe. Next, face. La cara. Prime with the Fenty Beauty Primer. By the way, guys, I know I posted on my Instagram, but Ulta's having a skincare sale on sheet masks and like clay masks. So get on it because we're going to be indoors for a while and we gotta make sure that we take care of our skin. Make sure that it's glowing, it's looking its very best like always. And you know, pamper yourself cause you're a queen and don't let anyone tell you differently. And if you're a guy, you should probably try it too. It doesn't hurt. Take care of your skin, it's okay. It's okay to love your skin. Okay, so now that I'm nice and primed, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Soft Beige. I have used this before. So personally, I like it because of how lightweight it is. Cons, however, it does not do full coverage. For me, I don't mind it right now because I'm not really looking to do full coverage looks at the moment. And this is probably one of the best foundations I've ever used, personally, to be honest, just because it makes my skin very glowy. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on a second, guys. We need to conceal first. We need to conceal. <laughs> I skipped a step. NYX HD Photo Concealer in the shade green. Because we're going to hide these acne marks and these reds, redness. That's what we're going to do today. Now we can go ahead and get started. <laughs> Okie dokie, now I'm going to use the Max Factor Pen Stick in the shade True Beige. I'm going to put that alongside the top of my nose a bit. And using a concealer brush, I'm going to apply it on top of my dark spots to help conceal. For starters, I'm going to use the Clairefort Contour by Sephora in the shade Second Chance. It is definitely a bit darker than I expected. I mean, look at that. That's dark. So I, I'm only going to use it on my nose. I'm not going to use it anywhere else. It's like, think skinny, be skinny. We have a skinny nose. I'm going to use this Sephora blush palette and the color that I'm going to use today. Hmm. Huh. Do I want a soft look or do I want... Let's try this shade. This shade right here. We're going to go ahead and try that one. Hmm. That's a nice flush of color. Don't you think? Right there. Ugh, a little too much color right here. Ugh. Okay. If that ever happens to you, no worries. It's fine. We can tone it down. All you need to do, and this is a little trick that I learned from my friend Ada. Hi, if you're watching. Hello. I love you. Um, just diffuse it with powder to tone it down. If you ever feel like you messed up, just diffuse it by toning it down. And it lightens up. You see? It's gotta blend it out. Not everyone's into blush. Not everyone wants it to 
stand out and they want it to look natural just go ahead and do that and it's a less harsher now and i need to put on some eyebrows going to start off by using the color pop brow boss in the shade dark brown i'm going to use my spoolie to brush out my eyebrows make them a little bit neater what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill them out from this corner inner corner you'll see I wasn't struggling you don't know me i'm going to use the essence shape and shadows with the shade bridget brown i'm going to use a jeffree star js7 brush and i'm going to line the rest of my eyebrows in putting a little bit of eyebrow gel to groom them set them in place just a little bit though because it is a tinted brow gel i'm going to use the js4 to use this shade rose quartz from the becca palette i'm going to put it alongside the cheekbones Mm, that is so pretty. Okay, now that we have our highlight on, I'm going to go ahead and coat the lashes with some mascara. I'm going to use two because I realized I don't have an eyelash curler. I did, but it was very old and I need to buy a new one. So for now, I'm going to do my best to just use two different types of mascaras to build up the volume. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Exhibitionist and Uncensored and the Maybelline Colossal. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate my lashes by using the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I'm going to move on to the CoverGirl one for full volume effect. Back to blush wine. I'm gonna put it right here underneath the eye. Okay, cool. I'll use the Q-tip to blend out underneath any rough edges, and now we're gonna move on to the lips. For the lips. I'm gonna try two new products that I got. I bought the Marvel Black Widow lipstick collection from Ulta. It comes with a lip liner and the lipstick itself. I got it in the shade Courageous. So I'm gonna start off with the lip liner first. This is actually my first ever owned lip liner. This is my first time doing lip liner. Let's see how it goes. So from my understanding, you work from here, I work your way up and around lining the lip. Like that? I don't know. So far, I do like it. I don't hate it. Or I should just end the look like this. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the lipstick. Hmm. What do you guys think? For the first time using a kid with lip liner, not bad. So this concludes the look. I decided to move closer to my window so you guys can see what it looks like in natural lighting. This is the finished look. Not so bad. Not a bad job on the lips. I think I did exceptionally good today. I don't know about you guys, but this is a really good look. Wow. So it's very subtle and kind of natural, more on the pinkish side, but I like it. Anyway, thanks for joining in again today, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you like it. Comment down below what you liked about it. What would you like to see next? Subscribe, let the world know all about me and my, you know, my creativity and all that jazz. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.